Hi, I'm Shade, and this week I've been reading The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. Every time I say that, I feel like my pronunciation might be slightly off, but hopefully it's close enough to the actual thing. Um, this is based on the um, on Arabian Nights or Thousand and One Nights, depending on which part of the world you're in, which is basically the story of a very powerful king who, for reasons known to himself, decides to marry a bride a day and kill her at sunrise and he does this a few hundred times and there are no young women left in the kingdom so his advisor uh, his advisor's daughter offers herself up and she tells him a story and that keeps her alive through that night into the next day and the next night she tells him another story and he's so engrossed and engaged by these stories that he keeps on letting her live she tells him a thousand and one stories and that keeps her alive and so this is based on that. So you have a, an 18 year old king, a caliph called Khalid, who has been killing um, a bride a day. And he's got through 75 women so far when he marries Shahzad. And she's actually offered herself up because she has her own motivations. Her cousin, or no, her best friend um, has been murdered by the king and she wants to revenge her best friend. So that's why she offers herself up and she tells him a story and that keeps her alive through that night and the next night she tells him another story and so this keeps her alive for a good while and while she's alive she's beginning to learn more about the king and she's beginning to see that there's a bit of a mystery there that it's not that he's just a sociopathic murderer he might still be but she feels like there's possibly more going on and so she's trying to uncover the story of what is actually happening and why he's killing these brides and whether he's actually responsible for killing the brides and meanwhile she's also wondering to herself uh, what kind of person she is because she's starting to fall for him so she's thinking you know who falls for their best friend's murderer so there's a lot going on there's a lot of side plots as, as well i read this in two days and i'm a pretty slow reader but i couldn't put it down it's so good and it's so you know there, there is a lot going on the characters are great and um the pace is great so it's it really keeps you engaged um shahzad is my favorite kind of heroine she is bold she's brash she's outspoken she's pretty fearless she's skilled um um, but at the same time she's sort of she's vulnerable and she's thoughtful and she's very empathetic and very aware of the emotions of the people around her so she's not just sort of this macho heroine she is very um she's very well-rounded and um yeah very fully realized the novel is set in sort of ancient persia in a um, place called khorazan and it is very rich in detail there's a lot of you know, Renee describes the colors of fabrics, the textures, the scents of food, um, the flavors, um, just the shape of things, the way that things feel. Everything has, she's very detailed in her description, but not in a, you know, not in a way that would slow down the story. It, it really does feel like very organic and very much part of it, but it's just a very rich sense of um, atmosphere that she's able to weave. And it's so great to read a story that's set in a different part of the world and a like different kind of story somewhere else. And Renee is, she's part South Korean and part Scottish. And it's just, just great to have, let's have more diverse stories. It's wonderful. So this is just a fantastic novel, honestly. Like, you know, whatever you're reading, put it down. Go and get this, The Wrath and the Dawn.